It's up there. Where is it? I don't know. Oh. Anyway, welcome back to another video. I sound like Martin Zero. Uh, welcome back to our new video. We're back on this familiar street. Just down there is where we did the two stone walls a couple of weeks ago. Uh, today we're on a steel's job. It's a it's an inside job, so it's one steel to go in, opening up a kitchen and dining room. Um, got the just picked the steel up, and we've got um, how many acros? Seven. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, seven acros, so we can prop either side, and then once we've got the wall out, we can put the acro in underneath the steel and hold the steel in place while we put the pad stones in. We've picked up some um, a couple of. You know, we went for pad stones, but they haven't got any, so we're using um, a six x four concrete lintel. Cut that down for the pad stones. Um, quick one. Um, I've been um, shopping. Oh, there's the batteries. Ah. Got a new case. You might remember the last one got absolutely destroyed when I was doing the uh, brick tongs. This one's a better one. That's it. That's waterproof and. Um, what else is it? Official. Oh well, yeah, official. And. Um, it's um the only trouble with that is when you're using that the sounds pretty bad. Um around the GoPro that you can't see we've got a I think it's called a media pod, which has got a better microphone on it, so hopefully the sound's gonna be a bit better. It doesn't cut out the wind but it picks up our voices a bit better. I can't show you that obviously because it's on the camera. Um this is fantastic. This thing here is solid, it grips onto anything. And then um, it's all adjustable. You can put the camera direct onto the grip, or you can use this this one, that, which is going to be great. Put that anywhere because the camera film's upside down, so that's going to come really handy. And then, modelled by my glamorous assistant over here, we bought the chesty mount. So hopefully, we're about to get a few a few better angles in the videos and get some better coverage in that. Um, so that's it for now. Yeah, that's it. Um, so we better get out of the van and get cracking and finish this brew first. It's 20 past 10, so we're all set up, ready to go. We'll take you inside and show you what's what. Cut. This is our job. Well, before we start that, put a lintel in here next week, I think, or at the weekend. That's a job coming up. Take the brick and edge out, put a train and everything, and lift it one course, and then put, take the brick and edge out, put a course of brick back in. So that's that's coming up. Here's another bit, could be a brick work. 280 at the bottom. Check out those cross joints. I think it's 315 at the top. Look at those cross joints. And I think it's meant to do, but it leans. I've been told it's a feature, but I'm not convinced. Let me show you the frame. It starts at the bottom. That. Anyway, back to the job. Well, can we just establish as well? Oh yeah. They arrived. Finally. I haven't got my new ones on yet. I don't want to break them in. So, there's our planks for our acros. I'm going to prop the ceiling. Because the joists go on that way. Which is always a lot easier. Three acros this side. Three this side. I think we're coming down to the and I think there's a bit of a nib here, can't remember exactly, but the opening is about 2.1 or 2.2. 
it's a 2.6 steel anyway, the steel's going straight up to the joists. Right, let's get all set up. There's the rest of our acros and the steel. You right? Yep. This is what the chest mount will come in and do. Yeah. Stealing. Got to get the steel in before the acros, obviously. Right, let's get the rest of the acros set up. There's a lint we just took out. Proper big in the timber that. Unfortunately the camera wasn't rolling when that came out. But it came out pretty easy. Yeah. Right, now there's, there's our joists. With the beam filling in between. So I've got the perfect beam filling. I might just knock a couple of nails in there just to hold the beam filling in place. And then we can get this get the steel in and get it all popped up. So we'll crack on. Alex has done most of the drilling on that. And down there. Obviously we've got to go further in for the pad stone and steel. And this side staying in. We've got to go with the same pad stone and steel again. Do a bit of tide up though. Quick update, lintel's out, bit of a mess now, but it's going to have a tidy up now. I want to get a spare apple up there, get a piece of paper up there, to prop that beam filling, I'm worried about that coming down. It's only some line more to play common, so any banging's going to dislodge them, and what I could smack up to the very hard to get back to use for that. We're going to get all this muck out of there. Get it propped up nice and safe.
quick update. Nice and sides ready. That's our, that's our side to go down inside that pillar. That is um, our seating for our pad stone and our steel. 250 I give it. So this has got to come out yet. And then we need to do the same with the other side. The seating and the steel. So there's not much left to get out down. Alex can go down this end and get this out of the line down there. I did actually catch that where that tape is there, caught it with the drill. Just nicked it so didn't feel anything, just smelt it. But it's just taped up and fixed now. So I'll give it a time to do one last bit to get out. I might just try and pop that bit of thing in again. Just worried that won't drop down on us. Another quick update after a battery change. Right, tidying up again. The opening's all got all but out apart from the holes there. We've got that roof button in just to hold all the beam filler in place so not to drop on our head. So I'll get cleared up, get a bit of sand to make it up and get those two seatings ready. Get the steel. Right, another cock up. Got to press record again. So we missed just putting the steel up. Mine's here up on our own. It's not too heavy. So now the steel is in in situ, held up by those two acros. So we can take all the other supports out now while we get the uh, pad stones and everything put in. Good. Right, that's it, steel's in, pad stones are in, all pointed up, just finishing off tidying up now. They've got a good 250, 260 seating. Managed to get the steel in without all the beam filler falling in on us. So what we do now is, I pack that up as tight as I can, which is really tight. So we take the acros out now, so then all the weight settles onto what we just set. Obviously, it's all going off pretty quick because it's dry. But 
then the weight settles onto the mortar and it's going to barely move and it, it's already jacked up tight so we're already pushing those joists up so once the weight settles it'll compress all that and it'll be nice and tight I always have the steel directly onto the pad stone and then put a bed into it So let's get these things out now. Thank <laughs> you. 